Okay, good morning class. Today we'll be doing special segments in circles. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yay mouth? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't sound so perfect because two people were laughing. It's Math Nerd Day, class! Welcome to Geometry! Oh my god. Well. That's cool. All right, now we're gonna do special segments. If I really talk like this the whole time, that'll be a problem. I need to walk also like this. Hello. Okay, but I'm not I'm just gonna talk normally, but I'll stay in character. All right. So please draw a circle. Let's drop and in, jump into it. And this looks like number one on your sheet. Actually, so you don't necessarily need to draw it. Need second thought. You have it right in front of you. I'll draw it here on the board for us. We have a three. We have an X. Seven and six. By the way, thanks for the glasses. These are cool. <laughs> I've been told I should get a pair like this. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, for me? <laughs> nodding yes. <laughs> like nodding yes with a little one of these. <laughs> Okay, so there is one rule with this. We've gone over in uh, previous classes rules with the angles and stuff. Now we're talking about sides. Okay, there's a rules for sides. Can anyone guess what the rule for the sides are here? Any guess? No, we're talking about sides now. Three, x, six, and seven. Oh. Any guesses? Yeah, it's okay if you don't. It's, it's a pretty specific, yeah? Maybe, uh... Okay, here's all it is. Three times x equals, guess? Six times seven. Six times seven. Whoa. That's it. Whoa. That's it. Yeah. So three x equals six times seven. What is six times seven? Forty two. Forty two. Good job. All three of you said that. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> over three, over three. Fourteen. X equals 14. Yes, yes. Um, Why wouldn't it be 3 plus X equals 6 plus 7? Yeah, it doesn't work that way. It's products. Wait. It's all product rules. Because, okay, I'm glad you say that. The reason why is because how could it be that if you had a small super chord like this, let's say 3 plus X or 3 X were over here, super small, mm -hmm. oh. that the this piece plus that piece could equal something much bigger. So it's products. Yes? Where, like, are you pointing to the line, that, just that line is six? Like, the piece of the line, the piece of, the, yeah. What's the name of a line that goes through a circle? Chord. chord. Six is the piece of the chord. Okay? Okay. Okay? okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's rule number one of three. Here comes the second one. And there, and there. I believe in being a good artist in addition to a good mathematician. I dress well too. Look at my suspenders. <laughs> that don't affix. <laughs> They're my younger brothers. <laughs> He's five. Now I'm talking like a baby. <laughs> my younger brother is five. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to go like this, like, so, what's going on in here? <laughs> Does anyone do that? No? Yeah. You do that? No way. Cool. <laughs> you guys are funny. It's laughing. It's funny that you're laughing, but your laughs are so silent. Like, <laughs> 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 All right. Am I getting a headache from these classes? I don't know. <laughs> um, it's worth it. Because we work through our pain. Hmm. <laughs> All right, next rule. Here it comes, more products. This is what I like to call piece times whole equals piece, yeah, piece times whole. All right, looking at the top line. All right, this line is called the secant line. The reason it's called the secant line 
is that it hits this circle at two points. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we can define that just for our purposes here. Secant hits, hits, <coughs> circle at two points. In other words, it's kind of like an extended chord. It's an extended chord. Um, now we're talking about the top secant line. All right, piece times whole. Outside piece would be what? X times the whole secant would be what? Four X. Many people say four X. Four plus X. Very good. So that is four plus X equals piece times whole. Five times five. Five seven. is a piece times? Five plus seven. So let's call it 12. Oh. oh. You know what, let's call it five plus 12. Five plus seven, why not? So show how we got it. Piece times whole equals piece times whole. Questions, please, yeah. Why wouldn't seven be on the outside? Like why would it be seven times five plus Right, right, it's outside piece. Oh, okay. Right, That's a, that, I, I thought of that when I was learning this too. It's the outside piece times the whole line. Outside piece times the whole line. Mm -hmm. Continue. Here we go. 4x, right? Plus what? X squared. X squared. X squared. Good job. Equals 5 times 12 is 60. 60. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you know what to do? <laughs> yeah, I know. I do this a lot. I do this a lot because I never know. Like, where's the cow? That's right here. <laughs> yes, you know what to do. You have to set one side equal to zero. You have to set one side to zero. What's this called, sir? Trinomial. Trinomial. Right on. Does that look familiar to people? What? That's what you're one step ahead of him now. Good job. So we're setting one side to zero by subtracting 60 on both sides. Yes. So here it comes. Minus 60. Oh, minus blue. Minus 60. And then we get x squared plus 4x minus 60 right. equals zero. Put them in descending order. x squared plus 4x minus 60 equals zero. Yes. OK, crash course into algebration. This is a factoring problem. It's called a trinomial because it has three different terms x squared, x, and a number. And now um, we factor. So what goes here and here to multiply to x squared? X and x. x, very good. And then two factors of 60. Well, yeah, I want to mix it up. Good job. You're doing great. You're doing great. Two factors of 60 or negative 60. So we multiply to 60, negative 60. And what? And what? Add to four. 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 So what two numbers multiply to 60 and add, add to four. In oh. addition, multiply to negative 60 and add to four. Okay. All right. Okay, we got a guess? 10 and negative 6. 10 and negative 6. Do <laughs> Mr. Humble in the back just call himself smart? <laughs> Do ten and negative six multiply to negative sixty? Yes. You guys, yes. Do ten and negative six add to four, class? Yes. Yes. So now we do this. Now we need to solve x plus ten equals zero. Thus, x equals negative ten. Negative ten. So x would have to be six here to equal zero. So that equals six. Questions on how we got solutions? All right, so are these our solutions, you guys? No, well, one of them is. Why can't it be a negative? Why can't it be a negative? Because you can't have a negative length of a segment. Right. Yeah, a length can't be negative, that's right. So that is gone, answer. Okay, that was rule number two. Again, rule number two, piece <laughs> times the whole equals piece, which is five, times the whole, which is 12. All right. I love erasing. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> All right. Last rule. And you have here a. I'm gonna reverse it a bit. No, I'll draw it. Draw it proper. Okay. 
Okay, move it a little here. So now you have six and two and x plus six. Okay, now, what's the name of this type of line? What's the name of this type of line? Secant, right, secant. What's the definition of a secant? It is Anyone? Everyone? Hit circle. Right, it's a two points. Now, this six, this does not qualify as a secant. We've gone over it already. It only hits it at one point. This line hits a circle at one point. All right. Uh, class together, what's the name of a line that hits a circle at one point? Tangent. Tangent. Right, tangent. So let's put that down. Tangent hits circle at one point, which is the edge. All right, here it goes. Let's do piece times whole again, which would be what times what? Two times. Two times. Can it be any piece? No, outside piece. Good job. Outside times the whole, which is what? Two times x plus six. X plus eight. Oh, two times two plus x. The whole line. Oh. X right. plus 8. It's 2 plus x plus 6. So 2 times x plus 8. So it's x plus 8. All right. OK, so that's piece times whole equals tangent squared. So that's the last rule there. All right. So the previous rule we did was piece times the whole equals piece times the whole. The rule before that was each piece of the chord multiplied by themselves equals each other. And now secant tangent rule, you have piece times whole equals tangent times itself. And let's go ahead and solve this. Bless you. 2x plus 16 equals 36. And then you have minus the tang, minus the tang, 2x equals 20. Answer? 10. Ten. Right. So the length of this would be 16 here. So x equals 10. All right, any questions? Yeah. Questions? Pocket protector? Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what, this one here? Okay. Do you understand the piece times whole thing? Yeah. No. Okay. No? Okay. No. You got to ask. You know, if you, if you want to have a question, I want to help. Okay, so piece, we're talking about the outside piece. In this case, it's the number two here. Okay? Here it is. Times the whole line that it's involved with. What is the whole line it's involved with? Two plus x plus 6. So what makes that, why do you have to do that? Why can't we just do piece times? We did. Piece times whole here. The whole entire line. The whole entire secant line, yes. The whole entire secant line. when we did the first one, we did 3 times x equals right. times 7. Right. What's the difference? Those lines were inside the circle only and did not go outside. You're talking about the, the first example we did? Those two lines are inside the circle. So that would be piece times piece equals piece times piece when it's inside. But when the line extends outside the circle, it's a different quality characteristic. The line outside the circle is this piece times the entirety of its line. All right? Equals, in this case, tangent line squared. Is that a little better? A little better? Follow up question, please. Um, for the second one that we did, yeah. we did 4, no, x times 4 plus x Yes, five. yes. What's the difference? That those were two secant lines in the second problem. I like it. There are two secant lines. Now it's a tangent line. Okay. So in the two secant lines, there was both piece times whole, outside piece times whole, outside piece times whole. Question here? No? How are you doing? <laughs> okay. I want to get my suspender on my classes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Thank you for these. Okay, everyone, give yourselves a hand. Yay! Okay, 
Say bye. 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 bye.